Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Tuesday, April 18th, 2017. You enjoy our videos, our live shows, well, why not help us out? It's very, very much appreciated. And you can, of course, help us out through PayPal at the Yahoo email that you see here and patreon.com slash radio and computers where you can kind of become my boss if you want. So uh, please do think about it. It helps us continue what we are doing. Well, um, Microsoft in our news today buys another strand of 10 million DNA for data storage research. It seems that uh, they are continuing on this uh, very interesting path of storing data through DNA strands. And apparently it is amazing the quantity of data that you can actually put in there. So uh, of course they are partnering with Twist Bioscience and uh, so 10 million strands of DNA once again to store some data. It's going to be interesting to see if they, you know, maybe one day this is, will become the major way of storing data in uh, data centers. Well, Intel pulls a plug on the developer forum after 20 years. And it seems that it has partly to do with the fact that the PC market isn't getting better for them and that they are kind of thinking that maybe there's other ways to connect with their audience. So uh, that's interesting to see. And of course, one of the things we'll want to know is, will this, you know, change anything to Intel? And, uh, you know, it's one of those moments where I think the shifting industry is uh, really uh, important with all the mobile devices now. And, you know, Intel is not a big player in mobile stuff. It, it really is mostly PC. So it probably needs to reinvent them itself a little bit. Steve Wozniak in a conference will be talking about 2075. Why 2075? The year 2075, well, will be about 100 years that Apple exists. And so Steve Wozniak says, pretty confident, that uh, Apple will be around in 2075 and will still be innovating in products. So that's still a very long way from here. But you know what? Um, and, and there's so many things that can change in technology that, you know, in 2075, it could be that, you know, even Apple and Microsoft are, don't exist anymore. Who knows? So uh, interesting to see that he wants to look ahead. Netflix subscribers are slowing down in, in, in its, um, you know, increase, but not uh, bad if you consider that with the rate of new subscribers right now, in a few months, Netflix will have reached 100 million subscribers. That's a pretty amazing number. And uh, so, of course, they did have a little less subscribers that, um, you know, jumped on board. And sorry for the phone here. And of course, the uh, subscribers will, um, um, you know, slow down a little more. Now, what's happening is that the subscriber count is actually getting higher in the international market than rather in the uh, U.S. market, basically. So, uh it's uh, interesting to see that, and you know, it's going to be interesting to see when they reach that 100 million mark. Mozilla is the maker of Firefox, but also other software, including the email, um, you know, uh, program Thunderbird. Well, they had in their um, beta program, their insider program, if you want uh, to, to to understand it a little better, in the Windows style insider program, two tracks: the Aurora track and the beta track. The beta track is um, more or less more like the insider previews that we have so you get you know stuff before everybody else but they had you know decided to use two different tracks to you know see if it increases the uh, possibility of you know checking out new features and maybe you know finding more bugs well it seems it doesn't and actually it just slows down the process so they have decided that the aurora track will now be shut down and all its users will be sent to the beta program. So you'll be on another track, basically. And Uber is kind of not going right right now uh, with all sorts of problems, scandals, and, you know, uh, 
executives that are leaving. Well, another executive is leaving. The, that executive was close to the self-driving program of Uber, and it seems that that self-driving program isn't working well at all. So it seems that it's stalled, and we're not really sure what's going on. So uh, kind of interesting to see that they kind of are in some kind of you know problem there. And also, we're learning that a lot of uh, people find that the uh, Uber program is not super cool because of the fact that you know drivers don't get tips through the app and that apparently that would have really been something that you know many drivers wanted so uh, I don't know it's it's interesting to see how Uber is transforming now and uh, what's gonna happen in the future Netflix says they're open to the idea of putting their movies in movie theaters but they do say that Netflix users online will be the first to view the movies they don't want to release movies in theaters only and not online they say that Netflix wants to have them in the online platform and you know for some movies maybe have a on uh, a theater presence now that could be appealing for some people you know a lot of people are not on Netflix but I'm not sure that would be a necessarily fantastic move for Netflix it's kind of hard to uh, to know exactly. One thing for sure, with you know today's big screen TVs and everything, well, most Netflix users will probably not go to the theater to watch a movie. But you know, if you're not on Netflix and you want to see one of the Netflix movies, maybe that could be interesting. And finally, Google Russia has agreed to pay a 7.8 million dollar fine and make some changes in its Android operating system because of the antitrust um, that's going on the uh, you know Russian government thinks that Google doesn't act well so uh, they finally settled down and said yeah okay okay 7.8 million fun we'll pay that and make some changes so that's pretty much what's happening and we still have not a lot of news about what's happening with Europe in the European Union and uh, all of these uh, changes in the antitrust cases there so this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, April 18th, 2017. Today's live show day, 3 p.m. Eastern. We will have the tech show where I answer your questions. And at um, 6 p.m. Eastern, we will have the Windows Insider Hour on the Windows Insider Channel. So hope that you enjoy our shows today. And thank you so much for following us.